all my lovely ninjas i hope you all can hear me and you all can see me very clearly if you can do that let me know with a thumbs up let me know with a yo in the chat quickly so that we can get started hello anshul samuel john welcome man kirito is here shreyas is here jaywant is here fantastic so people i hope you're all ready and you're all excited for this amazing session where i'm going to continue teaching your set theory and we are going to look at some amazing concepts today today's class is very important and i'm so happy we got to do it early hi sanvi sanvi long time absolutely it's been so long wonderful to see you back great sherlock welcome sherlock astro welcome astro sai lakshman welcome sai very good evening kirito samiksha is also here samiksha welcome and abhishek eknath very good evening eknath samuel is asking how are you are you feeling better yes absolutely better i am fine and i am looking forward to seeing you guys regularly from now on got it hello triambak welcome sejal very good evening sejal nice to see you anshul is here anshika is here very good very good very good <laughs> yes amazing people so with that let's get started with our session number 5 which is on set theory and what are we going to cover today we are going to cover a concept called as de morgan's law i'm going to show you all of it but before we get into the session some of you might be new to this channel you might be wondering who is this teacher so let's quickly see that who is this person okay that slide got skipped so let me go back and here we have it so this is me shimon sir and i teach mathematics at vedantu so i teach for the 11th and 12th standard for students who are preparing je mains and je advance okay so i have been in vedantu for almost 3 years now and the reason i chose teaching is because i love to talk to all of you i love to motivate and guide students so that has been my passion and that is what brought me here and talking about my background what did i do when i was a young student like all of you i also prepared for J mains and J advance. So I wrote exams like KVPY. I'm sure everybody knows it. A lot of you are preparing for it. You're all asking me, sir, KVPY SA, KVPY SX. Will you teach us? Yes, because I have been through that process. I can help you and I can relate to you. So I will help you with KVPY because I cleared it in both 11th and 12th standard, the first level. got it in 12th i did clear the interview as well so that is my background regarding kvpy and j mains of course i can help you there also because i was a state topper in tamil nadu so i have good experience and i know certain smart ways by which you can score marks easily got it so i will teach you all of that and of course after mains i wrote advance and i qualified for IIT Madras so i studied in iit madras five long years and i was in chennai before that so i am basically from chennai so a long long time in chennai 24 25 years now in bangalore finally got it so now i work in vedantu in bangalore and because of covid we are all at home but still the workplace is at bangalore so that is about me shall we get started abhishek thank you so much man that means a lot in case you all want to message me sir i want to ask you a doubt i want to ask you a personal question then you can message me on instagram so that is my instagram id it will be there in every slide you can note it down whenever you feel down whenever you feel negative you can always message me i will help you is that clear guys now before we get started this is the most important slide why because this is the baby we are all growing this is the baby we are all growing got it so what is that this is v entu channel where we teach for j mains and j advance in english got it so if you are all looking forward to learn in english because it's very hard to find a english channel in youtube right 
Lots of channels are there for JE, but majority of them are in Hindi because that is the official language, right? But we at Vedantu listened to you, especially those from South India where people don't speak Hindi fluently. So we listened to all your requests and that is why we created this. Now it is your job to support us, to blow this up, to make sure every student, every friend you know who wants to learn in English should reach this channel. Got it? So please do subscribe without fail if you are new to this channel and do share it with your friends in case you loved it. Sharing is a very big thing. Not everybody will share. Sharing because you feel awkward to share, right? I have also felt awkward to share, but now I realized people, those who love the channel will definitely share and like the videos to encourage all your teachers. Got it? Everybody cool with it? I hope you're all fine. Now let's begin and I'm going to show you something very, very interesting. So how many of you realize that our life has changed so much in the last two years? Don't you all agree with me? How much it has changed na? in the last two years? Crazy. I can't, I can't imagine the amount of change we have introduced in our lifestyle, isn't it? So we have switched to online completely, be it for movies. The, the number of movies we see also has reduced, right? We don't go to cinema theaters often nowadays. But when I was a young boy, we used to go to movie theaters a more, I would say more frequently than now. Got it? But now because of Netflix, your Hotstar, your Amazon Prime, everything is online. People are looking forward to online for entertainment, for education. Everything has become online, isn't it? Because of the COVID situation, of course. And it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. So next six months, next one year, we are going to study online. And for that people, I have one small suggestion. Please choose something which will take care of you, which will take responsibility for you. Because many people study online in school, in your coaching institute, wherever you are, just ensure that you are in safe hands. You should be in safe hands who can really take care of you and guide you. So that alone ensure because it is your education, your life, which is at stake. Your life is at stake. So please make sure you go to a place where they will take responsibility for you. And of course, like I always say, Vedantu is one such place where we do take responsibility of our students. And this you can see is the result of our students online program. They got 99 percentile as well. So it is possible to get 99 percentile even by studying online. That is a myth. That is a myth. What is a myth? People studying online cannot get good rank. No, we have disproved it. Okay, we have proved it wrong by these results. So I hope you guys are all clear and you all know that Vedantu does take classes in its platform. Okay, it is not only in YouTube. Vedantu has regular batches also. I take a regular batch and some of my students are there in the chat. So I started my batch on May 10th and that batch is crazy good. It's amazing. And in case you, uh, you all want to be there, you can still be there because it is just two classes over for maths. So do check it out. I will tell you how to join my batch at the end of the class. So shall we get started? Yes, yes, yes. Some of my students are here. Samiksha is from my class. Yes, Samiksha. Great to see you here. Pawan, welcome Pawan. Triambak, thank you so much. That means a lot. Great. So people, I hope you're all ready. Let me see some excitement in the chat. Give some fire. Give some yo. Give some yes in the chat. Everybody. Hello, Vaishal Anand. Welcome, man. Abhinav, I'm doing great, Abhinav. I'm back and I'm going to take classes regularly now for both 11th and 12th standard. Got it? Fantastic. So shall we begin? Yes. So the first thing is I want to talk about the homework question last class. So I taught you something called as difference of two set, right? So we wanted to find out what is one, two, three. 
So 1, 2, 3 is what? 1, 2, 3 is the element belonging to A which is not in B. Because 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is in B. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is in A. So what is 1, 2, 3? 1, 2, 3 is nothing but elements which belong to A belong to A but not belong to B. So what does that mean? That is nothing but A minus B, right? Because the definition of A minus B is what? A minus B is elements present in A but not in B. Are you all clear with that? Are you all cool with it? Everybody? Did you all enjoy this question? Are you able to recollect it? Very good Kirito. That's absolutely right. Hello Chris Cyrus. Welcome man. I'm so happy to see you. I hope your preparation is going good. Great, great, great. And we had answers from a lot of people again. So I'm not going to read out all the names. Maybe I'll do it very quickly. Aditya, Sanvi, Samiksha, Shreyas, Mahiraj, Anushri, Smog, Aishwarya, Samuel. Then we have Eknath, Rutun, Jaya, Panda. Then Avantika, Jaya, Saravanan, Enchanted Guy, Balaji, Rudraksh, Sangvi, Abhinav. Then we have Harini, Gauri, Jaiwant, Pooja, Kaushik, Harshini, Unati, Vaishal, Shreya, Bhatt, Sai, Madhi, Sethi, Siri. You guys are a pick. Then Rutuparna, Dos, Nanda, Ratina, Pragati, Sherlock, Pavan. Then we have Sai, Gautam. Then we have Sridhar, Shivam, Yash, Malpani. Then we have Sanjay, Ankit, Abhirami. So Pavan has my photo. I didn't realize that. Now only I saw. This is my picture over here. Great. Thank you so much, man. That means a lot. Nachiket, Baby Luffy, Laksa Prasadin. Then we have Tejas, Astro, Kopu Gaurama, Joel. Shri's Classroom, Be Enthusiast, Venisha, Shilvaraj, Sharvain, Anjana, Rose's World, Manas Vini. So, so many people have answered and you guys are all right. Great job people, great job. Keep it up and I hope you will continue the same number, same intensity in the coming days as well. Okay, I don't want you guys to lose heart, lose hope. Still, it should become more and more intense. Got it? That is what I hope for. So, shall we begin? Let's have a look at what we have done so far. So, till now, we did the bridge course. Somebody was asking, will you do the bridge course again? No, guys, the videos are already present in the channel. Go check it out. We have already covered what are all the basic things required for your 11th standard. So, in case you did not attend my classes, go check out the video. It is there in the playlist. Now, this is what we have done so far. Set, I taught you what is the definition of a set. We saw how to describe a set, roster form and set builder form. Then types of set, empty set, null set. Then we saw what is that? Infinite set, finite set. Then we saw equal and unequal set. That is cardinal number, right? Cardinal number means number of elements present in a set. Then we saw what is subset, universal set and power set. Then Last class, I taught you how to solve Venn diagram problems, right? How to understand Venn diagrams, I taught you last class. And we studied various operations on set. Union, intersection, complement, difference, all these things we studied. Are you all cool with it? Are you all cool with it? Yes? Are you all cool with it? So shall I move forward? Yes? Great. Now people, somebody is asking what is the use of bridge course? Vipin, bridge course will cover those concepts which are needed when you move from 10th to 11th which will not be taught in 11th separately. For example, modulus function, greatest integer function, logarithmic functions, we expect you to know it. But it is not there in 10th, it is not there in 11th also. Then who will teach you? So that is where the bridge course will help. Got it? I hope I answered your question. Now, the million dollar question. What are we studying today? So today, the first topic is I'm going to teach you symmetric difference. Symmetric difference. It came in J mains. So when I wrote J mains, this was a question in my exam. Okay. So it came in J mains. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Please listen carefully. Symmetric difference and then problems based on that. Then we will go to laws of algebra offset. Again problems. And the last one is very important. This is what you will get in J mains. Make sure you give me 100% attention till the end of today's class. Alright. 
Make sure you guys give me 100% attention till the end of today's class. Cardinality based problems are very, very, very important. Got it? Everybody cool with it? So shall I get started? Are you guys ready? Eknath, I have, I have already taken intervals under inequalities. So I did the bridge course na Eknath. In that, when I taught you inequalities, I have mentioned intervals. So please, my dear, go check it out. Not right now. Right now, listen to me after the class. Okay, great. So looks like everybody is excited. I am also looking forward to the session. Looking forward to see how many people are attentive. How many people are able to grasp it in the very first attempt. So let the magic begin. So the first one is symmetric difference. So what do you guys think will be set A symmetric difference set B? So this is a symbol used for symmetric difference. What is that? It is nothing but delta. So delta is a symbol which I will use for representing symmetric difference. So what is symmetric difference sir? Can you please teach us what is that? Very good Jaiwant. Jaiwant is legendary. You are right. Very good Pawan. Pawan, you are absolutely right. Got it? So let's try to have a look at it. So symmetric difference means whatever elements are there in A but not in B. Also, whatever elements are there in B but not in A. Can you write it? Can you tell the answer? Everybody, whatever elements are there in A but not in B, that you have to include. Also, whatever elements are there in B but not in A. Can you guys do that very quickly? Everybody, please do it very fast guys. I want all of you to respond. Please do it. Yes, Pavan. Pavan, I'll come to that slowly. Let's have a look at it. A, Q, diamonds, king, queen, hearts. And let's check it. Are you sure? It is J, A, diamond, Sanvi. Very good, very good. Anvika is right. It is J, A of diamonds. And what is that? King, queen, hearts. Why, sir? Because I told you, you should write elements which are in A, but not in B. So what are the elements which are in A but not in B? These two elements, na Sanvi. These two elements, na. Do you guys agree? Everybody? So A diamond is not there here. So I will write it. Got it? Jack diamond is also not there here. So I will write it. But king diamond is there. So I will not take that. Queen diamond is also there. So I will not take that. So leave that. Now A minus B is over. It is not A minus B alone. It is B minus A also. So elements in B which are not in A. So what are the elements in B which are not in A? The elements in B which are not in A will be these two. So I need to write that as well. So symmetric difference A delta B is nothing but A minus B union B minus A. So that is the right expression to understand symmetric difference A delta B. Are you all cool with it? Are you all cool with it? Did you all like it? Kirito, did you get it? Jaiwan, Sanvi, Anshika, you guys are awesome. Everybody cool with it? Did you plan king heart and queen heart? No man. Today also I did not plan it. It is just fate. King and queen are supposed to love each other. And that's why always they come together like hearts. Okay, so in my class, it is always a happy ending. Okay, so don't worry about it. King of heart will be with queen of heart only. It won't change, don't worry. Very good, Kakashi, Sai. That's amazing. Exactly. So let's move forward and let's try to look at it in more detail. So guys, this is the Venn diagram for symmetric difference. How many of you are able to follow it? How many of you are able to follow it? So why is this the Venn diagram? This is the Venn diagram because my dear children, what is A minus B? A minus B is this region. Is that correct? And what is B minus A? B minus A is the right side red color shaded portion. Now, 
our symmetric difference is nothing but a delta b which will be equal to this union this so i need to combine both of them so the combined shaded region represents a delta b are you all okay with that did you guys understand it yes very good very good absolutely right so you can write a delta b as also a union b minus of a intersection b are you guys okay with that this is also another way of writing it which you guys can follow it's totally fine either this you can use or this you can use both are absolutely correct are you guys okay with it can you see over here it is a minus b union b minus a or it can be written as a union b minus a intersection b both are absolutely correct got it are you okay with it everybody fantastic so with that let us move forward to the next one got it great so please try to solve the next question guys so here i have a very similar question like the one i gave you in the homework and i really want everybody to solve it please do it quickly guys please do it quickly sanvi legendary that is very very fast Hello, Safel, Safelia. Welcome, Safelia. So nice to see you here. Jaywan, you are right, Jaywan. Kirito is also right. Abhishek is right. Samuel, Jaywan, Sherlock, Astro, Anshul. You guys are all absolutely correct. Great job, guys. Great job. Keep it up. Samiksha is right. Pawan, Sai. Very good, very good. I am so happy. So many students have got it right. You killed it, guys. Great. So let's let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. So what do we have here? A delta B, right? So that is nothing but A minus B union B minus A. So first of all, what is A minus B? Elements in A which are not in B. So one is there in B. I will not take that. Two is not there. So A minus B will be two. Okay. Three is already there. So I will not take three also. So that is your A minus three. Elements which are present in A but not in B. Present in A but not in B. So 1, 1 is already there. So I will not take 1. 3, 3 is already there. I will not take 3. But 2 is not there in B. So I will write it in A minus B. So A minus B is done. Now union, what is B minus A? Elements in B but not in A. So 1 is there, 1 is there. 3 is there, 3 is there. But 5 and 7 are not there in A. So this will be 5 comma 7. So 2 union 5 comma 7. Union is like addition. Union is like addition. So you just combine them. So it will be 2, 5, 7. So that's the answer. And that is why option C is correct. Did you all understand it? Everybody? Can you guys give me a yo? Give me a yes in the chat quickly. Very good. Harshita, Anshika, Laksa Prasadan, Pawan, Eknath. Eknath is also right. Very good. Very good. Very good. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. So now is the concept of symmetric difference clear to everybody? So maybe if you come, if you get it in your J mains, then you should probably be thanking this channel for it. Okay. Because again, symmetric difference is not taught in your regular NCRT, I guess. Okay. So sometimes people don't cover it. Sometimes people miss out. And because of that, you lose marks. Okay. So let's proceed forward and try to have a look at what is the next concept I have for you? The next concept I have for you is something extraordinary. JE advanced level. What is A union A? Can you tell me what is that? What is A union A? When you combine A with A, you get back A only, right? That is kind of obvious. How many of you can understand that? Are you all clear with it? What is A union A? Union means you combine. Union means you combine. So what is A union A? It is going to be A and you add another A on top of it. So it's going to be the same thing. So that is why we call it the idempotent law. Whenever you take the union of A with itself, you get back the same. You get back the same set. Got it? And the last one 
is A intersection A. So if you take A and intersect with A only, you'll get the entire same set back because A and A will have all the elements same. So that is why the intersection will also be the same. And that is why these are called as idempotent laws. Are you all okay with it? Everybody cool with it? Yes, people? Fantastic, fantastic. Sajal, you are absolutely right. Yup, you are correct. Pranav Shriraj, hello. Very good evening, man. I am doing great. This is JE Advance? Of course. Maybe even Olympiads. <laughs> okay. So now, the next one which I am going to teach you is the identity laws. So what are identity laws? A union phi is equal to A. Got it? A union phi is equal to A. So union with phi means you are adding null set to A. So if you add null set to A, you will get back the same set itself. Because when I add null set, basically I am adding nothing. So if I add nothing to A, then what I get will be A only, right? Are you guys cool with it? Are you all clear with it? Did you all like it? Fantastic. Now the last one is A intersection union, uh, universal set. So let me show you in Venn diagram. So this is my universal set and this is my A. So what is the intersection of A and universal set? It will be this region, right? So the intersection of A and universal set will be the set A only. It will be the set A itself. So this is what we call as identity law. Identity law. Are you all cool with it? Shall I move forward? Yes, guys, we will go to tough questions. These are all just basics. I wanted to revise basics before I take you to something difficult. So that nobody is getting scared. Nobody is losing heart. Okay. And Om Tiwari, if you score 270, there is no need to write JE mains again. You are already scoring very high. So that's good enough. Okay. Fantastic. So let's move forward to the questions guys. Everybody try to solve this. Come on people. So here I have given you two set A and B such that A union B is equal to A. Then what is A intersection B equal to? Then what is A intersection B equal to? Can you guys please try to solve it? Everybody. Everybody please try to do it. What is the marks for 95 percentile? Music stories, it will be around 170, 180. Got it? 170, 180 will be around 95 percentile, I guess. Very good, very good. Some people are saying A, some people are saying B, some people are saying C. Which is the right answer, guys? Everybody is saying one, one option. Come on, be in sync. I want you guys to arrive at the right answer. Please do it. Everybody, please do it. Everybody is confident C is the answer. Sir, pakka C only, sir. Pakka C only, sir. Great. Siri, very good Siri. Vignesh, very good Vignesh. Because my dear children, Siri and Vignesh are right. Harshita is right. Samuel John is right. Venisha is right. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. You guys are awesome. Because my dear children, the correct answer is option B. Okay, Cricket Star is right and Pawan, very good. Selvaraj is right. Kesavan Raja is also correct. So the right answer for this question is nothing other than your option B. Now everybody tell me why B is the correct option. How did I come to that conclusion? Yes, Kakashi, I will try to explain it for you. I will explain it Sanvi, no worries. Okay, so let's try to have a look at it because this is a nice question. Many people are saying that this question is very easy. Many people are saying that the concept is very easy, sir. Why are we even learning this? But you see now, you got a question which people are struggling to answer. That is why I told you come to the classes regularly. Listen to it carefully because every class you might get something good out of it. Okay, you might get something good of, out of it. So now, yes, Rutuja, Venisha, and all the others, I am going to explain it, listen carefully. So first of all, if A union B is equal to A, that means B is nothing but a subset of A. B is nothing but a subset of A. So 
here you will get a union b is equal to a don't you guys agree so b is nothing but a subset of a b can be equal to a but is that the only answer no that is not the general answer b can be equal to a also because b is a subset of a b can be any subset it can be null set it can be one element two element three element and it can be equal to a itself so that you should understand got it now what are they asking they are asking what is a intersection b so a intersection b will be this region right the common place so what is the common place it is nothing but set b so that is why option b is the correct answer did you like it are you all able to follow fantastic very good avinash very good ashish very good siri vignesh you guys are all epic you guys are all epic if b is equal to a venisha is saying sir what if b is also equal to a sir so a is like this b is also like this then a intersection b will be equal to a na but venisha that is a substitution that's a specific case that's a specific case so you are arriving at an answer b equal to a and a equal to b then also both the answers are correct but since it is a very specific case i will not go for c that's wrong got it it's a very specific case right who told b should be equal to a it can be a subset also so you need to address everything now venisha so if it is a subset you are having a problem right then the answer is not a but when i take b to be a small subset inside a then i'm getting a very general answer so that is what you have to go for are you all clear with it everybody all of you cool with it so with that people let's get going to the next one what do we have next the next one guys i'm going to teach you the law of algebra offset so what do we have here we have commutative law associative law distributive law all these we have studied whenever we were in younger classes we were in 8th standard 9th standard did you guys study that commutative behavior associative nature we used to hate that right did you guys like it did you all enjoy it are you all aware of it did you guys do that in your 9th and 10th so i remember doing this in my younger classes i think maybe 6th 7th 8th 9th 10th exactly we learned this and it used to be so theory based i used to hate that you you read maths like you know social science or you read maths like english textbook you have to learn what is commutative law what is associative law for real numbers isn't it so now we are going to see that for set also we are going to see that for set let me show you how to apply it everybody please listen carefully so commutative means a union b is the same as b union a so set operation union set operation intersection both of them are said to be commutative got it commutative means your a union b is the same as b union a are you all clear with that and a intersection b is also the same as b intersection a so that is very important so that's the first thing which i'm going to teach you i hope you guys have made a note of it all these are just theory guys you just should copy it down and know what each of them mean so if i say a union b is equal to b union a you should understand that set operation union will exhibit commutative behavior that is what you guys have to understand similarly associative means what a union b union c what am i trying to do i am trying to do a union b union c i can first do this or i can first do this and then take the union it doesn't matter both of them will give me the same answer both of them will give me the same answer that is why this is called as associative law this is called as associative law so union and intersection will exhibit associative law that is what they are trying to show here and again something we studied in our lower classes so are you all clear with it shall i move forward i have written it down for union but guys the same thing is applicable for intersection also so the operation 
यूनियन एंड इंटरसेक्शन इन सेट थियरी इज कॉमोटेटिव इट इज एसोसिएटिव ऑल्सो शैल वी मूव फॉरवर्ड यस फैंटास्टिक फैंटास्टिक Have you guys noted it down? Hello, Sneha. Sneha seems to enjoy the class too much. <laughs> okay, the next one is distributive law. Got it? So please have a look at it, guys. Everybody, what is distributive law? Can you guys let me know in the chat? I want all of you to tell me. Have you studied distributive law before? Have you guys studied distributive law before? Very good, very good, very good. Kakashi says he was waiting for it. Amazing. Rutuja, brilliant Rutuja. Rutuja has also also studied it before. Great Kirito. Kirito, you are absolutely right. So that is exactly what distributive law is. What you have given me example now, Kirito. It is looking like multiplication of real numbers, or maybe it looks like multiplication of matrices. So. Perfect. That's correct. But now we are going to talk about distribution with respect to set. Okay. So what is distributive law with respect to set? So if you have a union B intersection C, then how do you expand it, guys? This is quite important. So please listen to me very carefully. This is quite important. Got it? So how do we expand it? You can write it as a union B first. So apply this operation on the first element and then the central major operation will come here then apply a union c are you guys clear with that so this is what we call as distributive law i hope you guys have understood so a union we have b intersection c in brackets so it will be written as a union b then intersection a union C. So you see, union is distributed to B. Union is distributed to C over intersection. So this is what we call as distribution of union over intersection. Got it? This is what we call as distribution of union over intersection. The same thing can be done ulta also. You can distribute intersection over union as well. So when you have something like this, what does your distributive law says? It says that a intersection B union C will be A intersection B and then union A intersection C. So this is what we call as distribution of intersection over union. Are you all clear with it? Everybody? Now did you guys understand it? I hope you are all able to follow. Don't worry. I have some questions for you. We will discuss them together. We will try to solve them together. Got it? Everybody cool with it? Perfect. So let's get going now. Finally, finally, the biggest dawn is coming to play. The biggest dawn is coming to play, which is De Morgan's law. So let's have a look at De Morgan's law. We will try to understand it and we will try to learn it in a very interesting manner. Exactly, De Morgan uncle. <laughs> Great. So De Morgan uncle is very easy. He is a very good person. There is no need to fear him. Okay. So let's try to have a look at it. Got it? So what does D. Morgan's law says? D. Morgan's law says A union B, the whole complement. So do you guys agree? This is A union B. The shaded region is A union B. Everybody agrees to me. Everybody agrees with me that A union B is going to be represented by the shaded region over here. So what is A union B whole complement? A union B whole complement will be everything outside A union B. It will be everything outside A union B. Are you all cool with it? So that is what I have shaded. Nah? You see the shaded region over here. It is everything outside of A union B. You guys are clear with that? So we need to find out what this A union B whole complement means. How can I simplify it? That is what your De Morgan's law will help with. Got it? So that is why I'm going to show you how to simplify. First of all, do you all understand this is A complement? Are you all clear with this? Is it A complement? Yes. Similarly, B complement. A complement means everything outside A. B complement means everything outside B. So I wrote A complement and B complement correctly. 
Now what should I do to these two so that I get this region? What should I do to these two so that I get this region? I should take, I should take intersection. Isn't that right? So if I take the intersection of both of them, what will I get? Can you see both of them are same? Are you all clear with that? Did you all love it? The way I introduced De Morgan uncle to all of you. Did you all enjoy it? Now you will not be scared of him, right? Are you all clear? Everybody? Fantastic people. You are all amazing. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Very good, very good, very good. Are you all clear with this? So this is a very nice way of understanding the proof. This is a very nice way of understanding what is De Morgan's law. Now you are able to visualize it. Nah? You will never go wrong. You will never make a mistake. So what is the effective statement? It says that A union B whole complement is equal to very easy to remember. Very easy to remember. Just apply the complement inside. So A will become A complement. If I take complement of union, it will become intersection. B will become B complement. That's it. Laddu. There is no need to mug it up. Just apply complement to every term. A will become A complement. Union, reverse it. It will become intersection. B complement is also given here. Are you all clear with it? Are you all clear with this? Absolutely Kumar. You can do this in exam also. Venn diagram is an accepted method. Okay. So I'm not teaching something unofficial. Absolutely you can use it in exams as well. Are you all clear with it guys? Shall I proceed? Very good, very good, fantastic. We have one more De Morgan's law because now we saw A union B the whole complement. It is A union B the whole complement. So can you guys tell me what will be A intersection B the whole complement? Can you guys now tell me what is A intersection B the whole complement using the same logic? I'm sure everybody can do it. Because you listen to me carefully, I'm sure everybody can write this. Do it quickly guys. Very good Jaiwant. Very good. Very good Sanvi. Brilliant Sanvi. Amazing. Hello Sakshi. Sakshi very nice to see you here. Welcome to this channel. And Kirito. You are absolutely correct. Uh, you are absolutely correct Kirito. That is amazing. The way you link these two chapters. Epic. Because you have nailed it. Absolutely what we use in mathematical reasoning. That is what I am trying to do here. You are right. Got it? So this will be what? A complement will be A complement. Intersection now will become union. Reverse it. Then B will become B complement. That's it. So this is their De Morgan's law. So De Morgan's law, there are two in number. One is for union, one is for intersection. So for union, I have given you here, right? This is equal to that. So we have this is equal to that. A union B the whole complement is A complement intersection B complement and A intersection B the whole complement will be A complement union B complement. Are you all cool with it? So shall we proceed further guys? Everybody? So let's get going people to the very next one. So this is the next one. I will show you the animation. Let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know guys. If you're all okay with it. Can you go through it quickly? Fadafat. So this is your second De Morgan's law. A intersection B. Whole complement. I'm trying to find its equality. I'm trying to find its equivalent expression. Got it? So this is A intersection B the whole complement. I want to find its equivalent statement. So that is what I've done here. I took A complement which is everything outside A. I took B complement, which is everything outside B. And I found out what is A complement union B complement. So what is that going to be? So that is going to be this entire shaded region, which is completely same as that on the left hand side. So that is why these two are equivalent. I hope you are clear with it. Amazing. Na? So guys, so many people are so scared of De Morgan's law. Now you will be laughing. Laughing at those people will be saying, is it really difficult? D. Morgan's law is laddu. Okay, now I hope you guys will keep it in mind. You will never forget it. And always be confident while answering D. Morgan's law. 
बिकॉज गाइज यू डोंट रियलाइज इट्स पॉवर यू ऑल थिंक दैट डीम ऑर्गन अंकल इज यूज ओनली इन सेट थियरी नो नो डीम ऑर्गन अंकल इज ऑल्सो यूज इन मैथमेटिकल रीजनिंग ओके सो दिस अंकल विल कीप पॉपिंग अप इन योर जेई प्रिपरेशन सो हैंडल हिम केयरफुली एंड ऑलवेज डोंट बी स्कैर ऑफ हिम ऑलवेज बी हैप्पी एंड रेडी टू सॉल्व ready to interact with this uncle got it so shall we move forward great so guys this is the second de morgan's law formula i hope you are all clear with it let's get going so now these are certain results which we saw in the last class do you guys remember this everybody a minus b means what everything in a but not in b so that can be written as a intersection b complement this is a this is b complement so what is a intersection b complement a intersection b complement will be a minus b are you all okay with it are you all okay with it everybody harshita please pull the video back a little bit and watch it harshita i think it should be fine because i have many many things planned for you ahead i want to try and cover them okay so let me repeat it very carefully again so guys now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to find out what is a minus b we all learnt it through set we learnt it in a way that a minus b is nothing but elements present in a but not in b but how do you write it in the form of a set how do you write it for general set a and b when it is not given to you every time i can't give giving you the elements right sometimes if i give you in general how do you express it that is what i'm trying to arrive at so a minus b means what elements in a but not in b so intersection you see i removed it you see intersection i removed it so this is nothing but your a minus b do you all understand that do you all understand that a minus b is given by the shaded region very good now i am trying to bring this through some venn diagram method okay so what i do is i take a i take b complement so if i take intersection of a and b complement i end up with exactly only a i end up with exactly only a so i can write a minus b as a intersection b complement because i am doing intersection here can you see that so this shaded region intersection with this shaded region so that will give me that will give me this portion alone got it so that is why a minus b i want all of you to remember it as it is nothing but a intersection b complement and what is b minus a it is nothing but b intersection a complement are you all cool with that everybody hello sahil welcome man sai kaushik amara welcome sai kaushik everybody clear with it shall i proceed shall we do some questions now because it's been a long time are you guys ready for questions i think we have a few more things to go and then fully questions only great job sanvi that's the spirit and with that same energy we will keep going forward so this is what i gave you up front can you just go through it and tell me if you guys are following everybody harshita are you able to understand this harshita are you able to follow it now very good very good sejal is able to follow great fantastic fantastic kumar understands it thank you samya deep that is so sweet of you fredrick great safalya went very good very good shyama great himanshu singh is asking a very nice question himanshu you got it wrong himanshu in vedantu the batches will get over by october okay himanshu it will get over by october 2022 not february 2023 guys many people are getting this wrong if you join 11th standard in vedantu if you join 11th standard in vedantu my batch started at may 10th so 11th standard will get over by february most probably february 2022 okay and 12th we will start around march end or april and that will get over by october got it so my dear boys and girls 
वेदांतु विल फिनिश योर पोर्शन बाय अक्टूबर 2022 और मे बी बाय सेप्टेंबर सो दैट इज द प्लान दिस इज द प्लान फॉर वेदांतु प्रो सब्सक्रिप्शन आई होप इट इज क्लियर गॉट इट सो मेनी पीपल मिसअंडरस्टूड सो आई टोल फेब्रुवरी ना सो वन गाय इज आस्किंग इज इट फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी नो 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 दैट विल बी टू लेट so it is february 2022 for 11th portion completion for 11th portion completion got it so don't ever worry about it got it i hope i answered your question ekalavya batch sahil you have to join only by writing an exam man you cannot join it directly okay so either you need to write an exam or you need to have 96 percentile and above Only then you will be admitted into Ekalavya. Otherwise, no. Got it? After September, what do we do? Samiksha, revision. That also Vedantu will help you. We will take care of you till you write advance. Okay? So we will have revision test Samiksha. Then you will have JEE mains test series. Then you will have JEE mains exam. Then you will have advance. So all the way till advance, we will support you. Only thing is you have to qualify for it. So if you qualify for advance, we will teach you till advance. Understood it? Great. Kirito says C. J1 says A. What is the answer, guys? Come on. Nobody is responding. Samiksha, great. Abhinav, very good. Frederick Prabhu, amazing. Sanvi says A. So let me check. If A and B are two sets such that B is a subset of A. then what is a minus b union b great the answer is option a guys the answer is option a you are all absolutely correct great job laksa prasadan sajal shama shreyas kapri krito great 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 you are all absolutely right i will show you how to i will show you how to solve it please listen carefully now b is a subset of a so i will write a like this and let b be written like this okay so what is a minus b a minus b is everything in a but not in b so can i say this shaded region will be a minus b are you guys okay with it are you guys okay with it this shaded region will be a minus b are you guys okay with it now to a minus b i i need to add b also so To a minus b, I'm gonna add b also. So I'm gonna add b also by shading that also. So if I add b to a minus b, what am I getting? I'm getting the entire shaded region. I'm getting the entire shaded region to be a, right? I'm getting the entire shaded region to be set a. So that is why the answer is option E. Got it? Exactly. Sanvi is asking why did we subtract b? Then we are adding b again. Good question, Sanvi. You are right. I'll ask the guy who framed it. So, shall we get started? Shall we move forward to the next one? Everybody cool with it? Fantastic. So, people, if you're all cool, if you're all okay with this concept, let's get going because the next one is very interesting, and I'm sure you guys will love it. The next one is cardinality-based problems. How many of you know what they mean? How many of you know what is cardinality based problem? Guys, it is a very favorite topic of JEE mains paper setters. So you will get questions based on that. So I am going to explain it to you in a short while. Please stay put. Very good Kirito, you are right Kirito, absolutely. But before we go forward, let me explain wave platform. So to those people who are here for the very first time Who are new to Vedantu, guys? This is the YouTube channel of Vedantu. Of course, we have regular classes in the platform that we developed in Vedantu called as Wave Platform. It is not like your Zoom classes. It is not like your Google Meet classes. But it is going to be a completely new experience. Why? Because this is Wave Platform. You see, we can show cool animations. We can. have the teachers video audio coming clearly throughout the session the teacher can see the chats of the student he can chat with the students in between the class and we can teach you through 
visual graphics. Okay, so you see Vani ma'am, she's explaining it and students are asking doubts. So this is how classes are in Vedantu. In case you are interested, I will talk about it in the end of the session. Shall we get started now with cardinality based problems? Are you all ready? Yep. So guys, before we go to cardinality based problems, I want to cover a few more important things which is needed for your set theory. Please have a look at it. Okay. What is A minus B? A minus B is this region. Are you all cool with it? Now I am adding B to it. If I add B to it, what will happen? I am adding B to A minus B. So this is B. So now what is A minus B plus B? A minus B plus B is A minus B union B. So that will give me A union B. Are you all cool with that? Did you guys like it? Hello Deepti Sonwane, welcome. Very warm welcome Deepti. I am so happy you chose to come to our channel. Hello Sindhil, welcome. Shweta was also here. Shweta, nice to see you Shweta. Long time no see. Hello John Kiran, fan from Hyderabad. Love you guys man. So many people from Hyderabad. Yes. So this is nothing but A minus B red color. Black color is B. So if I do union, union means I am adding both of them. So if I combine both of them, I will end up with A union B. Are you all clear with that? Got it. Now what is the next one? A minus B, which is this black color shaded region. Now A minus B intersection B. So what is the intersection between A minus B and B? Zero, null set. Why? Because A minus B contains elements belonging to A, but not belonging to B. So this has no element common with B. So if I take intersection with B, it should be a null set. I hope you guys got it. Are you all clear? Shall we move forward? Hello Sharada. Welcome Sharada. Great to see you here. So people, please note down these laws. Ensure that you remember them because they are quite useful to solve questions. Okay. They are very useful to solve questions. Please complete it. This is the last question. After this, I will move forward to cardinality based questions. Cardinality based questions are very important. They can be very useful to scoring high in your JEE mains. I'm going to go to that in just a few more minutes. Hello, Gauri Shankar. Welcome. So how do you solve this question? Are you all done? Everybody, are you all done? So how does this Venn diagram look like? A union B is C and A union B is, uh, A intersection B is null set. So that means A and B are disjoint set. So A is like this, B is like this. Okay. Now C is both of them combined together. Okay. Now what is C? C is nothing but both of them combined together. Now from C, from C, which is black color shaded region, I need to subtract B. So from C, if I remove B, what am I left out with? From C, if I remove B, what am I left out with? Can you guys tell me? If I remove B from C, if I remove B from C, what am I left out with? I am left out with A. So that's the answer. Over. Laddu. Laddu question. Archana, yes Archana, you are right. Jaiwan, Sejal, Sendil, Abhinav, Pranav, you guys are absolutely amazing. Okay, so now we have been studying for a long time. Before we go to the next part, I want to talk to you guys. So let's chit chat for one or two minutes and then we'll move forward to the next one. So how are you all doing? Are you guys excited? I'm meeting you after three days. Why? Because I was not keeping well. Why? Because I saw too much TV. Why? Because coronavirus, I was staying at home, nothing to do. So that is why I got heated up and my eyes were all red. So that's why I couldn't take classes. But now I'm all right, guys. I'm fine. I'm back. I have restricted my watch time of TV and I'm getting healthier now. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Are you all doing good? You're healthy? Great. So looks like all of us are doing great now. So that is good thing guys because the situation out there is very bad. 
okay i don't know whether you read the news you know what's happening outside but it's very very pathetic outside please stay safe and it is very serious people are losing life okay so take care of yourself take care of your health yes definitely rutuja thank you yes kirito of course we have to be careful and i'm so happy you guys are all safe very good very good gauri shankar gauri shankar i hope you enjoyed the class so many so many of the students here are present in my regular classes in vedanto also that's amazing so now people before we go forward shweta tinge of cold my god get yourself tested <laughs> that's the first reaction you will get from anybody so that's why when i go outside right even if i get sneeze even if i get a uh, cough i try to control it because by mistake if i cough or by mistake if i sneeze they will treat me like social outcast they will treat me like i have some major disease so you have to be careful guys don't do that and if you have cold or cough go get tested or take take caution don't go near your parents okay exactly <laughs> people will see you like alien absolutely or even worse than that alien only they'll say hi you saw movies right i don't know there was a movie with rithik roshan and some and some some alien what is that movie long time back when i was a very small boy i watched it without even understanding hindi what is that movie anybody knows that nobody you guys are all you guys are all very young man jadoo yeah yeah i think it's jadoo yeah yeah it is jadoo i guess so i watched that when i was very young so that that they treat the alien with so so much love that treatment you won't get shweta so don't expect that so i would not say alien also it is worse than that so guys i hope you're all fine like i said take care it is very serious it is not a joke got it koi mil gaya i think it's jadoo right i don't know i think it's jadoo I am not sure whether it is koi mil gaya, but anyway, I'll check it. I'll Google it and I'll tell you what is this by next class. Okay, so people, I hope you are all ready. Now we will move forward to cardinality-based problems. Oh, Jadu was the name of the alien. Oh, great. So my my memory is very bad. So at least I remember the name of Jadu, right? Great, great, great. So the movie's name is Koi Mil Gaya. and the alien's name is jadu great <laughs> okay so people let's come back i hope we had a good discussion we will come back to studying now what is cardinality based problems let's have a look at it okay so cardinality based problem means problems which are based on number of elements present in set okay number of elements present in set so have a look at it what is n of a union b n of a union b is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b because number of elements in a union b a union b is what the entire thing right the full shaded region which is represented by this red color line so this is a union b so a union b i can write it as n of a n of a means what i am counting this region once i am counting this region once i am counting this region once when i say n of a plus n of b i am counting this region twice because a means what i am counting this and this b means what i am counting this region and this region so when i do n of a plus n of b the center intersection part is counted twice so i need to remove it once i need to remove it once so that i count it only once overall so that is why p of i'm sorry n of a union b is given as n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b are you all clear so when i say n of a i count this part once i count intersection once when i say n of b i count this part once intersection once so intersection will be counted twice so i need to remove it once that's why i did minus n of a intersection b are you all clear very good this is a very important formula i hope you guys are all cool with it 
Now, what is A minus B? A minus B is this region. So, N of A minus B, I can write it as N of A minus N of A intersection B. Very simple. I hope that is very easy to understand. Are you all cool with it? Because A is the full region. A is the full circle minus I need to remove this intersection, right? So that's why minus the intersection part. So N of A minus N of A intersection B will give me N of A minus B. Are you all cool with it, guys? Everybody got it? Let's move forward then. Thank you, Swarup. I'm so happy you are enjoying the classes. Now, what if the set A and B are disjoint? If A and B are disjoint, disjoint means what? A intersection B is under null set. So then your minus N of A intersection B, this will not be there because anyway, this is zero. Are you all cool with it? Are you guys able to follow that? Anyway, this is equal to zero. Na? So I will not include that over here. Clear? So that is why N of A union B will be N of A plus N of B. But please remember, this is only when they don't have common region. Only when they don't have intersection. Otherwise, don't ever do this. Then I will laugh at you. Got it? So please don't do this. It is only when they are disjoint. Please remember that. Okay. Now, what is N of A delta B? So that means N of A delta B means what? It is A minus B union B minus A. Is that correct people? So that will be equal to N of A minus B plus N of B minus A. Is that correct people? Why? Because A minus B and B minus A are disjoint set. A minus B and B minus A are disjoint set. So N of A minus B union B minus A, I can write it as N of this plus N of this. Are you clear? Just now I taught you. Just now I taught you. If this is a separate set C, this is separate set D. So we have N of C union D. C union D is what? It is equal to N of C plus N of D. Why? Because the intersection between them is under. The intersection between these two is under. Why? A minus B will contain elements in A but not in B. B minus A will contain elements in B but not in A. Got it? So their intersection is zero. That is why I can write it like this. Now I taught you how to write A minus B. What is N of A minus B? It's N of A minus N of A intersection B. N of B minus A will be N of B minus N of B intersection A. So now if I combine it, I will get N of A plus N of B minus twice of N of A intersection B. Are you all cool with it? Did you all like it? Did I derive the formula? Amazing, na? Amazing, na? I hope you guys are all cool with it. Very good, Abhinav. Very good, Kirito, Shweta, Sanvi. Very good, Gayatri. I'm so happy you, you're all following it. Now, let's get to questions. Let me see if you guys are able to do it. When is mattresses class again? Tonight at 8 o'clock. Tonight at 8 o'clock, I have mattresses class. We will not have, we will not have the mock test. Okay. Mock test, we will not have it because Vazim sir is not here. Why? Because it is a festival for Muslims. Got it? So he is celebrating Eid. So he will not be here today and tomorrow. That is why we could not conduct the mock test. Instead, I will take mattresses class for my 12th standard students. Please be there at 8 o'clock. Only today at 8 o'clock. Why? Because I am free and the slots are free and nobody is there. So I will take it. Got it? So please be there on time, guys. Sanvi has answered and Shweta is super excited. Amazing Shweta. I hope everybody is as excited as Shweta, even though she has cold. Even though you guys are isolating her. <laughs> great, great. I'm just kidding, guys. Don't worry. Anvika, you're right. Samuel, you're right. Frederick, you're right. Shreyas, you're right. And we have Kirito, right. Shweta, right. Shama, right. Himanshu, thank you so much, man. Abhinav, you're right. Laksa Prasadan, you guys are all 
परफेक्ट परफेक्ट हो दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट गाइस सो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी व्हिच एवरीबॉडी हैज आंसर्ड करेक्टली सो हाउ डू वी डू दिस सो वी वांट टू फाइंड आउट एक्स इंटरसेक्शन वाई सो एक्स यूनियन वाई हैज 50 एलिमेंट्स सो आई विल राइट द फॉर्मूला एन ऑफ एक्स यूनियन वाई is equal to n of x plus n of y minus n of x intersection y so we have 50 here so 50 is equal to we have 28 in x so x is 28 and y is how much 32 minus whatever we want to find let's keep it as x okay or uh, let's keep it as a variable a so we we'll have 50 is equal to 60 minus a so a is equal to 10 So what is a? A is the number of elements in x intersection y. So x intersection y will have ten elements. So that is the way you do it. Are you all clear, everybody? Yes, yes, Gayatri. Thank you so much. I hope you are all able to get it. So let's move forward to the next one. So this is the next question, very similar to what I just did now. Try to solve it, guys. Everybody. Hello Sumit welcome Sumit i'm so happy to see you here great sanvi great shreyas shama very good shravani very good shravani so people try to answer this this is a very tricky question you can't do it very fast so please think about it and solve it think about it and solve it don't answer directly don't answer directly my dear boys and girls Fifty people there are totally thirty-five speak Hindi, twenty-five speak English and Hindi, but all the people speak at least one of the two languages. Then how many people speak only English and not Hindi? Abhijit is saying I am there in this group. Yes, you are right, Abhijit. I speak only English and not Hindi because my Hindi is very bad. Okay, Sanvi, are you sure? Gayatri, are you sure? Anshul, are you sure? I got all the options A, B, and C. Only D is left out. Please, somebody take D also. Somebody, don't leave D. Yes, thank you, my boy, Laksa Prasadhan. Now all the four options are filled. So, what is the correct answer? Please think about it, everybody. one of them in abcd legendary samuel john guys the answer is option a so shravani is right shravani is right and so were a lot of other people sumit very good sumit you are right abhinav is right very good sumit that's correct so i'll tell you how to solve it please listen carefully so there are totally 50 people so 50 is the union of both of them 35 speak hindi and 25 speak both english and hindi and we don't know english how many people only english so 35 is hindi right so only hindi will be what 10 people only hindi will be 10 people are you all clear because 35 is total hindi that means those who can speak hindi in total that means it includes 25 also So if I want only Hindi speaking without English, it'll be ten. Are you guys cool with it? Are you all okay with it? Now, what is union? Union is fifty, right? So if I add all of them, I should get fifty. So twenty-five plus ten. What is the number of English speaking guys? The number of English speaking guys alone without Hindi will be fifteen because only then it'll add up to fifty. So this region, this region is fifteen. I hope you guys got that. Okay, and this black color region is ten. So what is the answer? The answer is fifteen because we want only English but not Hindi. So only English but not Hindi means only this red color portion without the intersection. So that is what we got as fifteen, right? So that's why it is option A. Are you all clear with it? Now did you guys understand it? I hope you are all able to follow. If anybody has a problem, feel free to ask me. I will try to help you all. 
वेरी गुड गाइज ऑल दो गॉड इट यू वेर एब्सोल्यूटली राइट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अंशुल यू आर राइट एग्जैक्टली मेनी पीपल वुड हैव कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इट अननेसेसरी बट इट वॉज इंडीड अ वेरी सिंपल वन नाउ वन मोर सच गुड क्वेश्चन प्लीज ट्राई टू यूज डी मॉर्गेन्स लॉ प्लीज ट्राई टू यूज डी मॉर्गेन्स लॉ डोंट डोंट डू इट इन एनी अदर वे Try to use what I taught you today. I taught you D Morgan's law. Try to use it. Okay. Yes, yes, Pooja. That's very good, Pooja. Try to do it. Whenever you have time, try to complete Sengage. It can be very fruitful for you down the line. so we have answers from shravani shravani is very fast shravani is it a or b i got all the four options from you legendary <laughs> shravani tell me one of them i know it is one of a b c d sanvi says c fredrik says c shweta says c anvika says c abhinav says c sai shashank badri yes badri very good so let's check who is right let's check who is right and who is wrong okay pooja yes pooja that is totally fine it's fine if you are reaching at the same answer it is okay there are multiple ways to reach the same answer you are correct if you reached at the same answer you might be right that because there are other ways to do it okay so samiksha says d guys i don't know the answer so let me solve it first of all can i say this is nothing but a union b the whole complement the inside one are you guys okay with that can i say it is a union b the whole complement are you all okay with it by de morgan's law that is what i asked you i told you i gave you hint and still if you don't do it i'll come through the through the camera and slap <laughs> Okay, so guys, please be attentive. I taught you De Morgan's law. That's because I want you to use. Okay, so try to be friendly with De Morgan, uncle. Don't let go of it. Now, how do we solve this? So now, this, my dear children, can be written as n of universal set minus n of a union b. Can you see that? Beautiful, na? Huh? Beautiful. Over. This is Ladu. Universal set is seven hundred, and A union B is what? N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B, which is hundred. So that will be how much? Seven hundred minus four hundred, three hundred. So it is option C, which is the right answer. Got it? Very good, very good, Kirito. Very good, Yashita. Hello, Rajaraman. Welcome, Rajaraman. exactly <laughs> so with that i hope you guys are all clear so this is what i wanted to teach today i did only two set but maybe in tomorrow's class guys tomorrow we have a class and what class we have we have problem solving session so the chapter is over chapter is khatam okay so tomorrow we will do problem solving session and that i will teach you how to handle Three set. What if I have one more set? See, I will teach you how to handle it. So we are officially done with set. The next chapter is, I think, relation and function. Okay, that will also be like this only. It will be like set, but it is also easy. After relation and function, that is where we start the regular portion, quadratic, sequence and series, complex numbers. It gets very interesting, and you will love it. Okay. Yes, yes, Kirito. Take care. So guys with that we are done for the day I will give you the homework question so this is the homework question what you should do no shri today 5:30 we will not have a session maths class in regular vedantu pro subscription is only on monday and wednesday got it in my batch so guys what you should do you should solve this question and comment it down below you should comment it down below in the comment section got it so please do that without fail i'll be looking at how many people are solving it how many people are getting it correct now coming to the million dollar question 
सर हाउ डू आई जॉइन योर बैच I want to study under you in Vedantu, guys. In Vedantu, we have regular classes. Unlike YouTube, in YouTube, it is gonna be a free class, and Vedantu has these free classes going on. But if you want to study in a very organized, systematic way, with a lot of competition, with test series involved, then you need to check out the regular pro subscription. We will have live classes where I will be sitting at my house. i will teach you at the same time when you are listening to me okay so you can sit in your home i'll be in my home and we'll learn at the same time so that is what we call as live classes right so that is what we do at vedantu after the classes you will get recording of the class you will be given assignment and after two weeks we will conduct a test one of j mains level one of j advanced level to make sure you guys are improving you guys are tested on a regular basis you have doubt solving ability also you have doubt solving app which is meant for students you can take a photo of your doubt send it to the doubts app they will solve it and send it to you in 5 minutes got it so these are the features of the course that we offer at vidantu and this is how the platform will look like i already explained it so this is called as wave platform this is developed by vedantu yes pooja you can join today also because my batch started just 3 days back just 3 days back my batch started i have taken only two classes and it has been amazing so some of my students are there over here so they will tell you the classes at vedantu are very very interesting and the content is very nice guys okay i i have taught the toppers batch i have taught ekalavya so i can tell you that if you come to vedantu if you attend my classes regularly if you take the test regularly you will see an improvement at least j mains you should be able to crack with ease with ease okay so this is our platform like i told you you have the questions given to you students will answer by choosing the option and then the teacher will teach them how to come to a conclusion how to reach the answer got it so that is what we do at vedantu and we have a proven track record as well because the first thing which i will think about whenever i join a institute is what results have they shown and in what exam so people vedantu has proven track record in j mains this year 300 students got 99 percentile and last year i have mentored toppers we got all india rank 38 and all india rank 41 also all india rank 38 in je advance we got olympiad qualifiers so every exam kvpy you name it we have cleared it kvpy sa sx olympiads je mains je advance all of it vedantu is bringing up great students and you also have to be part of this journey so anshul anshul offline classes these days are not possible man it is impossible because the covid situation is very bad anshul we cannot risk it because you see the responsibility na so if we as teachers conduct offline class if 100 students come and sit look at the spread one guy if he has corona 100 people gone clean bold okay so 100 people will get it so that is why offline classes i will not recommend i will not suggest you also to think about it for now maybe for 6 months to one year time period you have to rely on online okay so that is where vedantu can help because vedantu is the first online institute it was the pioneer we started online much before anybody much before corona virus got it so in case you want to be a part of my batch fedrick and pooja guys this is the fee that we offer at vedantu and guys this price is for 2 years okay Pooja and Frederick and all the others who are looking forward to join Vedantu, these prices that are shown, right? It is for two years. For two years, you pay only fifty-four thousand. And guys, I studied for JE ten years back. Okay, two thousand eleven, I was in eleventh standard. Two thousand twelve, I was in twelfth standard. Okay, so in two thousand twelve, which is ten years back, I paid one and a half lakh for one year. Okay. So for one and a half years, I paid one point five lakh for education. Of course, I had scholarship because I got 
some good rank but still that is a fee they charged now 10 years later enter Vedantu we have only 54,000 as the price so it is very reasonable because I know the quality of teaching I know the quality of content that we deliver okay so in case you are all interested do check it out I will talk about it in some time I'll show you I'll show you how to join so many many people are interested to know how to join so guys let me quickly run through it so what you need to do is go to YouTube after you go to YouTube you click on my lecture after you go to YouTube you click and on my you see the lecture is live and you can see your chat okay so everybody is chatting right now now what you go you go down and you see here subscribe to Vedantu Pro is that right so Vedantu Pro you need to click on it and once you click on it you will automatically be taken to this page so this is grade 11 for 2023 batch so come down and you see there are three options pro light pro classic and pro plus okay automatically my coupon is applied because i have logged in okay so what you can do is you can choose pro light which is the cheapest of all of them why is it cheap because you don't have mentor, you don't have doubt solving, but everything else is there. You will have live classes, you will have test series, you will have assignments, you will have notes, you will have doubt solving during the class. But after the class doubt solving you will not have because that is a separate feature in the mobile app. And we also have personal mentor for every subject. There will be one person who will take care of you for one subject. Like that we have for every subject, there will be one mentor for you who will be like a brother, who will be like an elder, a mentor who will take care of you. So that is available in Pro Plus. But that is a bit expensive. You guys need to see if you are interested in it. So if you can afford Pro Plus, if you are wanting a personal mentor, Sir, I need somebody to take care of my teaching, somebody to guide me, then you have to go for Pro Plus. Sir, I am okay with just teaching. You teach me in Vedantu, that is more than enough. Then you can join ProLight. So the price of it, you see, it is 54,000 for two years. And you can try it out for one month. Okay. You can try it out for one month. Maybe you can check it out. If you like it, you can join it. Badri is asking sister. <laughs> yes, man, you will get brother or sister. Somebody you will get. Okay. But for every subject, you will get Badri. Don't worry. Got it. So you can try it for one month guys. You check the price for one month. It is just 2700. Just one month you can try it. If you like it then join for one year, two year. If you don't like it then you can check it. But I am very sure if you try for one month then you will join for two years. I can guarantee that. Okay. So then what you should do? Let's go buy the full course. So I will click on this. Then we will go here. You see automatically my coupon code is applied. So you get a 6,000 rupees off because of my code and all you need to do is pay. You can pay by credit card, you can pay by EMI. By EMI it comes down to 12,000, I'm sorry, 4,000 per month. By EMI the price comes down to 4,500 per month which is very reasonable. So I hope you are all clear. If you have any doubt, let me know. Are you all cool with it guys? Did you all like it? Frederick, Pooja, and everybody else are you guys clear of how to join Varshini is asking what what if I watch you YouTube videos alone Varshini YouTube videos are good I will not say anything bad about them but the only thing now Varshini it is not very organized secondly it is not having test attached you need to be in a place where you are tested you need to be in a place where you are constantly competing with people so that is why this can help you because the students in this batch, right, in my batch, they are from different parts of the country. They are from north, east, west, south, everywhere. So you get to interact with different people, different ideas and that is a very nice experience. Okay, so for that, you need to really check it out. You can try for one month. One month, 2700 is what? It's nothing. It's a very, very reasonable price. Check it out. If you like it, you continue. If you don't like it, then I am always there in YouTube. Vazim sir is there. Shreyas sir is there. We will guide you. Okay. But guys, in case you want to join my batch, try to join it today. Because my batch started only on 10th. 
so that way you will not miss out many classes are you all clear with that so in case you plan to join my batch at vedantu pro try to join it today because if you delay it you will be joining the next batch you see the next batch is starting on 24th may so if you delay it by one two days then you will go to the next batch so please try to avoid that got it in case you are interested to join my batch if you are wanting to join the next batch which is a hindi batch or english batch it's totally up to you you can choose your language guys that flexibility is there you can study in english or you can study in hindi also that's totally your choice okay how many students are learning at vedantu there are lots man lots so many students are there that's why it's very fun whenever i go to my class i enjoy it i am very very energetic in my classes because i love the students there okay great so guys with that we will conclude samiksha you guess it i am not going to reveal the number <laughs> okay so guys take care all the very best i hope you had fun today and this is the crash course for the 12th standard students who are writing jee mains this year 5000 samiksha of course no <laughs> of course no we have around 200 250 i guess yeah okay it keeps fluctuating samiksha so first class usually many people come but as the time progresses it will become lesser and lesser and lesser okay so don't worry it should be good guys this is the crash course in case you are all interested please do check it out and uh, this is involve this consists of your math physics chemistry as well as your as well as your test series okay all of them put together is for 6000 and here also i'll be teaching a few chapters not every chapter but a few chapters in case you want to join it please check it out the coupon code is given here and guys this batch is starting on 10th may this batch is starting on 10th may okay it just started 3 days back it is for 1 and 1/2 months till 20th june it will go and in case you are writing jee mains this year and you want to join a crash course this is unbeatable this price you will not find anywhere in the internet you can check it out okay exactly Sa sanvi absolutely till the end there are very few people who are consistent but i think at least 200 should be there till the end let's see in my batch i am looking forward to it i am going to do all that it takes to ensure that you guys stay till the end <laughs> okay is coaching for jee important sai lakshman absolutely man that's a no brainer absolutely because the the entire country is run like that right everybody is preparing so if you don't prepare then you will miss out so naturally you have to go for coaching you have to go because just by school education it is difficult i would say it is impossible almost to clear iit advance okay great 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 sanvi <laughs> okay so guys with that we will wrap it up I hope all of you are clear. This is for crash course. Those who are in 12th standard, the link is given below in the description. I told you how to join it. I told you how to access it. So please do that when you have time. Got it? And this is a Telegram group. In case you are new to the channel, please go to the Telegram, join it because all the session PDF, whatever I taught you today, will be up uploaded there tonight. So in case you want the session slides, go there. And finally. If you enjoyed the video do subscribe to our channel even if you came right now because the next video will come at 8 o'clock okay so do subscribe and do share it with your friends do like the videos and help us grow this channel because that would be the greatest help you can do for us at this stage of time okay so samita welcome samita you are early to the next class i think <laughs> no problem samita i'll meet you at 8 o'clock Okay so guys take care all the very best bye bye see you in the next one the dpp or the assignment will be shared in telegram group also in the description so please check it out after some time got it so take care guys all the very best see you all at 8 o'clock today with matrices and determinants bye bye